hello everyone good afternoon in today's video uh, we will discuss about um, the topics which you need to think before you start day trading so as you can see i have uh, mentioned five topics here we'll start with the market structure first of all you have to understand what is smart market structure so if you want to do day trading then you can do it on one minute chart but the problem is uh, when you scroll to one minute chart and when you find your uh, resistance like if you think this is a resistance if you think this is a resistance okay so what happened actually price takes over these resistance and uh, if you sell here or you sell here your stop loss will get hit and even if you uh, if you think you have any strong resistance then the rejection will come but price will continue again so if you do not book okay if you think this is support and this is resistance and if you are unable to book here then again you will close and loss so what we have to understand first what is market structure then we can start trade trading on one minute chart so uh, on my method i scroll to 30 minute chart and in the 30 minute chart i actually find major uh, structures like i will explain in detail so here i can draw some basic snr so for example here is i i see on 30 minute chart this was the top okay so what i have to do is draw these snrs and so i can understand this better okay so last uh, resistance was this one after that price change it's uh, you know the price change its trend so in this example uh, this is the yfi yfi and now i have to understand what is the structure so let's say i'm at this stage of the price okay so what i know is the trend is downtrend because it's not been able to break its uh, previous structure the previous resistance here you see is simple like uh, high high lower high and lower low lower high lower low lower high it's just like this and when uh, price actually breaks this up okay so the logic is simple i will try to draw also uh, this is regarding low versus high risk entry okay so uh, let's say you know uh, this support if you know this support uh, if you buy here this is a high risk entry because you never know that if price will be able to break this structure upside this is a high risk entry so we are going to see what if it, uh, actually price breaks this resistance or not so you see price broken this resistance upside so when the when such condition occurs you have to uh, find it like this okay this is a resistance and price has to break it upside this is step one after that price have to break its high again one more time because sometime happens uh, on the false case price breaks its high and price continues downwards okay so to confirm a trend change uh, with a low risk entry you have to watch if it's high to be broken again one more time okay so if this is a high then 
this is first and this is second it when it breaks a second time then you actually can think about buying entries okay here here th you think about buying this is also possible that price may go to something like here it, if the reason price will go here is because there should be some kind of FVG okay fair value gap so it fills this uh, order block or FVG and then price goes up okay so you have to see two times before you switch to one minute chart and understand what's going on okay so i'm going to see this thing if it's happening here so you can, uh, you can see here that price broken it first time now i wait for price to come down and break its high again but price did not come down and it's continuously going up so you don't have to uh, hurry about making an entry here because price will have to come down okay it will be coming down to here directly on any fvg area after that price will push higher so you have uh, step one and step two is confirmed like price broken is high price rejected and it's broken is high again okay so this is a kind of confirmation the trend has changed but you can uh, all the support which you have will find in one minute chart will contain a uh, high risk entry so you have to wait for price to drop to some some areas like here so this is what uh, market structure is about once price comes here then you have to switch chart back to one minute chart and it's all about it's very you know it's very kind of patience uh, type of thing which uh, which will work with accuracy but it requires a lots of patience because 30 minute chart it may take days okay as you can see it's 19th it's 20th so it can take days to reach the price but it will come with uh, results so this is the complete structure so here we study on the this swing we are going to study same thing Okay, I'm going to delete this and we'll start from here. Here you see <clears throat> price is going up, down, when price broken it's high here, went down, broken high here, went down, broken high here, went down, went down like this. Okay. Simple. So what I'm going to do is, is understand this part only. So here you see the last support was somewhere in this area. Okay. So when it's uh, doing this thing, it's called break of structure. Break of structure means uh, breaking its previous low. Okay. When this thing occurs, then you have to find the Thing that it breaks this again okay once it's broken this again then you wait for entry here which is again a complex thing price may not come here and keep going down but this is a sign i'll, I'll uh, mark a line here so this is a sign when you see this break of structure happens this is kind of early entry where people sell but when you see this low has been breaking okay again then I'll um, add a vertical line here. So here you see the breakout and I have added this vertical line here. I'll go to switch to one minute chart and uh, show you how the safe entry you can take. Okay, so I have added this line here. 
from this area you can start about thinking about sailing sailing so any kind of strategy you can use for example you know that this thing has actually occurred in 30 minute chart now i am going to sail when whenever anything occurs according to your strategy you have to find only sail signals so as you can see in this example i have drawn a trend channel and when its breakout happen i am going to sail this price keep falling okay again i know that uh, price is on time downtrend and i have to find sale entries again so again i will not buy but i'll only look for sale opportunity so example here you see again this breakout and i'm going to sell okay and i have to find where the bottom according to 30 minutes chart only okay not on the one minute chart according to this 30 minute chart what can be the bottom so uh, this chart of wifi but uh, uh, you have to apply the fibonacci and the fibonacci levels uh, which are like 1.618 uh, 2.618 like this so i'm going to open a new trading view app and i'm going to show you how the fibonacci actually works on this 30 minute chart Uh, in my app there are a lot of mess in fibonacci so we are going to use this new trading with platform i'm going to type here the symbol name the symbol name is here yfi usdt but this one okay so we are going to 30 minutes chart here and we were analyzing this swing so i'm going to take this fibonacci here and i have to find uh how to apply this fibonacci is this i'm going to teach you so first of all we are going to mark a rectangle or ray line to this open and close okay because this is the top uh, the candle in the top and we have to mark its open and close like this and after that we have to find a candle which actually break out this high and low so here you see this is high low <clears throat> not a high low and this is open and close <clears throat> so here is the breakout candle is this one we have to make sure uh, in, in between this uh, the breakout is happening after minimum two or three candles so we have to verify this so it should not be breaking out this in one candle okay minimum two or three candles so here see the open and close and in between this there is first candle this second candle this third candle so fourth candle is breaking out so it's fine so i'm going to take the fibonacci and i have to take uh, this uh, high here and the closing of the uh, is on the low so this was a breakout candle and i have marked this close here now see how the levels are working i have to expand this go to the settings and extend lines right so i'm going to show you how actually it works so you see the rejection coming from 1.618 after that when its breakout happen now its price is going to 2.618 here exactly okay and price here reverse so 
uh, on this uh, topic i have told you until when you sell on one mini chart until when okay so you have to find the bottom according to 30 minutes chart only when you find the bottom you stop selling and you think about buying only so you see price is 2.618 you think about buying because you see rejection as well on the this chart okay so we have discussed about what is market structure what is time frame confluence this topic i have mentioned that you have to switch between 30 minutes and one minute chart to find if you are going with the trend or against the trend we have discussed what is low versus high risk entry and now we discuss about strategy accuracy this one which is the fibo how to draw fibonacci now we think about star talk about what is sniper entries so you have to set alerts here okay because you won't be able to catch these things of uh, these types of entries uh, until you add alerts for example you think price has given a breakout of 1.618 so you have to add your order here sorry alert like you click here and add alerts add alert here like this so when price comes in this area you will be get no, uh, getting notification and after that you take your decisions here on 2.61 so this is a, this is the last cycle uh, in this fibonacci the last uh, point it goes is 4.236 let's say it's breakout happens then price is expected to go here okay so this is how actually you have to work now you know that this is 2.618 this is the level 5919 so what you'll do is go to the one minute chart here and find the 5919 this one bottom and once price reaches here you know that i have to think about only buy okay so use your strategies along with this trend so where to buy for example uh, this is the trend line breakout okay so once it breaks out you are going to think about only buying because price is breaking, uh, broken this trend line out and you think this is a buying signal then you only buy okay you don't think about selling until price reaches its target on the 30 minutes chart for example uh, here I will check when this uh, price is going to create a top so here in the UFI chart I've taken this okay and I'll be taking 30 minutes chart and first of all I'll uh, here you see there are no inside candles here so there can be an another method of I've taken this low and find where actually rejection coming okay because this is a continuation one two three and rejection is coming from this so i choose it this close after that you see price is given 1.618 rejection and price is continuing upside so price has given this breakout as well so uh, it's clear that there is no break of structure and there is no downtrend as of yet on this chart if it and uh, let me find another uh, term that where i expand that <clears throat> there should be a candle red candle and we select this low and you see it's high is broken by which candle this one so here you select the high on the close of this candle now you see what happens it's given 1.61 breakout price rejected from 2.618 then i told you this is the top here the actual rejection came from the 4236 and this is a sign that you have to think about selling only okay there are some additional levels here but we only uh, talk about these four levels
4236. This level you have to delete it. It's not that kind of useful. So there is one overbought zone as well here. It's called 4.88. 4.88 and here you see this is the final top. You can add this level and delete the 3.618. Okay. So this is how you have to plot the Fibonacci. Sometimes it's not possible that this thing is going to occur on the bottom. It can also occur on the next uh, minor swings. So you see, this was the top 4.88 and price went down. So now you know that this is a bottom. Okay, this is the uh, trend is down. So what you have to do is go to the one minute chart and you have to find only sale entries here so according to sale entries how you would find it anything like you try to find the break of structures and any strategy used like here you see this low was broken then this is the area where you have to sell because there was an fvg okay here you see the fvg area is this one the gap between the first and third candle on the top so when price came here it works magically like price going down okay so to in today video you learn how to actually understand it's it's not possible that you only browse one minute chart and you think that everything will be working because there are many kind of things uh, which only works with time time frame confluence so if you mark you'll sell here you'll lose money okay if you find you sell here you'll lose money here okay so only once you verify the things on 30 minute chart then after that you can think about buying or selling you have to first confirm what's going on the higher time frame you don't have to watch multiple time frame like you if you want to watch one hour for it's not necessarily needed you have to only watch a parent time frame and a child time frame because two time frame is must and i think 30 minute is my choice <clears throat> you can uh, also watch uh, four hour or one hour but i don't watch that i watch 30 minute one minute okay so this was all in with this today's video i hope this video was helpful Thanks for watching.